see this that's not how this video is supposed to go right that's not what we're supposed to be doing hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so today I'm doing a favorites video I don't know the last time I've done one of these and it is time because I have some products that I have fallen in love with some are new some are old mostly new to me because we already know Barbara gets behind on trying out new products but we also have some fails so I like to call this stash or trash which means I'm gonna stash it in my collection and keep it or it's going in the trash or give to a friend or whatever but it's not staying in my collection so before we get into this video if you're new I would love to have you join the family so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload we do hair nails makeup fitness everything related to beauty so if you're into that you are absolutely gonna love this channel I won't keep you guys waiting got my little bin right here a little sneak peek and we're just gonna jump straight in so what I did was I have kind of just accumulated some products that I've either been using regularly or just didn't have good impressions of decided I wasn't gonna keep whatever and they've been sitting in this bin until I felt like I had enough to make a decent enough video not just like four or five products so I don't know I don't know if I have enough to do one of each, but let's just start with a stash. So the first one is this Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Joy. It's still in the box because I keep stuff in the box until I film with it, but this is what I have on my lips today. Now I do have a lip gloss on top of this that changed the color, but I had this on by itself. Initially when I applied it, absolutely love the color absolutely love the glossiness of it and then when it started wearing down and I drank out of my water bottle I had no transfer and I was like I think I love this I will say that when it dried down I did feel like my lips looked a little bit dry which is another reason I put this gloss on besides just wanting to try it but this is something new that I hauled and just filmed a haul. So that's where that's coming from. But I love this. I love the color of this. It is very summer, spring appropriate. This is like a orangish kind of coral shade. It looks a lot brighter right here. But I swatched it in the store and was just like, yep, that doesn't look like anything I have. So I want to add it to my collection and I think it's perfect. Let's move to a trash. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. Now this is honestly just my fault. This is not the product's fault. This is way too light and the color is off. This is in the shade Ginger Snap 13.5. And I bought this online thinking that it was a lot darker than what it was. But like even with the undertone, there is no it's not the formula it's not anything it is just all me it's too light no reason for me to keep it just I don't want to keep stuff in my collection that I'm not going to use so I'm going to give this to a friend I think I know somebody who could wear this but if not I'll it's going to go in the trash it is what it is back to a stash this is the benefit rosy mocha blush in the shade java this was the only one out of all of these I wanted and I'm so glad that this is the color I picked. This is almost like a hybrid bronzer blush situation for me and I like using this lightly by itself or if I've already contoured and then put my blush and feel like it's not quite as seamless as I want it to be, I will put this in between and it can also help set the creams. I've been using a lot of cream contour, cream blush products. And I put this over this and it just seems like it helps everything mesh together perfectly. And I love the formula of this. You can barely, no, you can see it on my finger, but you can tell it's just, it almost looks like a bronzer. But I just love, it looks like a blush when it's supposed to. You cannot see that. You can hardly even see that. I don't know. I have it on today. So that just goes to show you like, I think that it did well putting my blush with my bronzer and everything you know yeah whole spiel but this has been upstairs and I use it almost every day back on the other side to a trash 
this again is more <laughs> my fault than it is the product because shopping online always have trouble matching shades this is the revolution irl filter Longwear foundation the shade before this was way too light so i got this one thinking it would match me i can't even like maybe if i max it mix it with that concealer it might but i don't know I have it in the trash because like there's just no way that that's gonna ever match me but I'm upset because I really wanted to try this foundation it feels almost moussey but like that looks like that could be a contour for me like that is not my shade and I don't think that's my undertone either like as you can see it's drying around the edges already and so it's going to get darker so it's not about the product it's just the shade of it Y'all comment, let me know if you've tried this and if you've been able to find your shade. I almost want to get another bottle. You know, now I'm tempted. I almost want to get another bottle of this so I can make sure I get to try this formula versus mixing it with another foundation and it changing the formula. Get another shade and mix it together and see because I really wanted to try this foundation to see if it's as good as they say it is. This might have to creep back over on the stash side and I'm going to see if I can get the other shade on sale and then I'm going to try it again. Yes, it is that crucial. Back to the stash. For sure, this is a stash. This is the Byredo Mojave Ghost Eau de Parfum. Y'all, I was not even checking for this. I got this for my birthday. God, this smells so good. It is definitely different from anything I have in my collection. I went to Neiman Marcus for the MFK 724, the light airy citrus fragrance. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted that and another MFK fragrance because I, the salesperson was trying to get me to buy the rose one. And then I passed by this counter and I was like, ooh, Jackie Ina talks about this. Let me see. Done, done, done. Didn't even have to think about it. Very expensive, but I feel like she lasts a long time. You don't have to spray a lot. And this is definitely like, I wish this could be my signature scent, but she's too expensive. Unless I can find a dupe, this is for special occasions only. To the trash, straight to the trash. This is the Merit Perfect Black Lengthening Mascara. This did absolutely nothing for my lashes, nothing at all. And I think this is supposed to be tubing maybe, but like if I put this on and I can't even really see nothing and I don't have makeup on, I'm not keeping you. I have a very high standard when it comes to mascara and the problem is I love the Thrive tubing mascara. So if you're not giving me Thrive vibes, if you're not giving me Pat McGrath length and darkness. If you're not giving me Fenty, what is it called? Is it full frontal? I think because I'm black, like length and volume and drama, like within the first couple swipes, I'm not keeping you because I already have others that I love better. This was suggested to me. Somebody loves it, but I don't. Back to our stash. This is the Huda Beauty Bossy Browns power bullet cream glow cream lipstick i have two of these now i bought both of them during the sephora sale and y'all saw my love for it the shades are very similar this is boss chick and i also got money maker is the other one money maker is a little bit lighter but these go on so smooth they are a bullet cream formula but they leave your lips looking so glossy like it's not your typical it's glossy, but I feel like it all it stays like a matte, which is really weird. So I just I think this is like the perfect everyday nude brown shade for me. Money Maker I would pair with a liner because it is a little lighter, but I love the formula of these and I'm trying to stay away and not get any more because I got enough, but I'm glad that I have the two that I have. All right. This product I'm put back it was on the trash, but I'm going to put back because I need to see something. This is the ColourPop Paradise City Super Shock Bronzer. I'm putting it back because my issue with this was when I tried it. Like, I didn't put a dent in it trying to figure out the best way to get this to pick up to show on my skin. You know what? I'm not keeping this. I'm just, I'm not. It's not even worth it. Like, 
nah, it's going. It was too hard to pick up. I couldn't figure out the white right brush. I just got another brush by e.l.f. And it's the really skinny contour brush that they have. And I was thinking I could use it for that. But this is really just a true bronzer. It's not a contour or anything like that. And I have other bronzers that I like. So I thought I was going to keep it, but it's going to go in the trash. But since we're talking about bronzers, I'm going to let y'all know. Melt Ultra Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Long Beach. I picked this up during the Sephora sale and she has been upstairs with me ever since. Still in the box because I did not show her on video using her, but I am wearing it today. And I love, this shade is a little more red than what I normally go for, but I just feel like, like it's on my forehead. I could probably put a little more. Um... I just feel like it gives the perfect amount of warmth without looking too red and yeah I feel like some of my makeup came off putting this wig on um but it's matte but it feels like super creamy I feel like everything just looks airbrushed and I love how my cheeks look today like it's a nice sculpt but I still just look brown brown bronzy y'all know how I like to look so I absolutely love the formula of this. I picked it up on a whim during the sale and I'm so glad I did. Back on this other side, similar product. And I talked about this recently. This is the Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. I got the shade Tan Shadow and I thought this was gonna be good enough for me. First of all, I'm mad at how small it is because this is like very, very small and pointless. It is not easy to open unless you don't have nails. And I don't know why, I thought it was going to be darker than what it is. And it just, it's not, it's doing nothing for my skin tone. I guess the cream one would, so it's a duo. Here's the bronzer, or this is the contour, I guess. I don't know, because it's kind of gray. And then this is the bronzer. See, looking at this makes me want to try it again. But it's giving me the same kind of vibes like it's a little darker than the uh, ColourPop one. This is ColourPop. This is this one. It's a little darker, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I wasted my money. Maybe I need to try it again. I don't know. I just feel like I have other products I love, so why? But at the same time, it's not like I got it for free. So even if I use it a little bit, that's better than not using it at all. It's not a complete waste, if that makes sense. So I don't know. No, I do know. It's going, period. Back to my loves. This right here. I've been talking about this. I've been talking about this. I just picked up a backup of this. This is my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. This is in the shade number nine. And when I told y'all I hit pan, like, I've been going through this. I use this almost every single time I do my makeup. I either use it by itself as a foundation or I use it as a primer underneath a lighter foundation. It just helps even out my skin a little bit. It gives me a little bit of warmth. It helps to keep all my oils in check. It helps to blur my pores. This thing is amazing. I have it in the Universal Shade 2 and I'm just so glad I took a chance on this because at first I wasn't even gonna get it because this shade is for my summer shade. I don't have one shade that I liked in any of the shades that would fit me when I'm not tan. So this low key makes me want to stay tan all year just so I can wear it. That's how much I love it. Man, we got a lot of bronzers in here. <laughs> okay, I feel bad about this, but to be honest, it's more about the shade than it is about the product. And I'm trying to declutter, so bear with me. This is the Jaclyn Hill bronzer in Bear Babe. This is just, I'm not sure why it's getting hard pan. I don't know if it's because I've been mixing creams with the same brush and then I stick it in here. Maybe that's doing it. Um, I was actually going to get this again in a darker shade, but the darker shade of this, like it's stuck on my finger, but I feel like it doesn't translate like that on my skin. And so when I try to wear this, especially being tan right now, it doesn't show up. This is supposed to be a very breathable, not breathable, buildable formula. And I think the product is not, it's not even the product's fault. It's mine. I want my makeup to punch me in the face. 
I would rather have to blend out a lot to get it to not be so stark than to have to sit there and dig and blend and dig and build and dig and build. And dig. I ain't got time for all that. And I feel like the formula of this is great. The shade of this is great. I just wish it packed a little more punch. And I have other bronzers that I love more. But if you just want a light bronze, this is a really good bronzer and it's a great formula. Just not my preference. We're just switching around different products. This is a concealer. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I love this. I have it on today. This has been my everyday concealer lately. I love the formulation of this. I love the shade of this. This is 35 in. It is a little light, but I can always tone it down. I've been using my Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Softly. I use that on top of this if I want to tone this down a little bit so it's not as bright. But then I can also set it with a lighter powder if I want to make it more brightening to highlight more. But I just love how multi-use this is with whatever makeup look I'm going for. Love the formula on it. I heard somebody in my somebody commented and said that they don't like this. And it makes me sad because I'm like, it's so good. I do put it on and I let it sit for a little bit for it to dry down to keep the coverage. But like, I don't feel like I'm creasing or anything. And I did my makeup. What time is it? It's 445. I did my makeup six hours ago already. And I haven't touched up at all. So I love this. Wear it to the gym. I don't know why it doesn't work for some people. I hate that, but it is amazing for me. This next product I'm getting rid of, one, because it is expired, and two, I just, I don't like it. This is the Kinship Self Reflect. Well, wait, I don't know if I don't like it. I think I'm just getting rid of it because it expired, and I might have another one. I think I got these in like a boxy charm or something. I don't know. Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen. So this is a sunscreen, which means you're probably gonna get a white cast. This is what it looks like right here. But my issue with it is when I tried to use it the last time, I felt like, one, I don't love the white cast, the purple cast, whatever you wanna call that. I thought this was supposed to give you a glow because it says skin reflect. I guess it does a little bit, but it's giving me more white cast than anything else. It doesn't smell. Why don't I like this? Is it expired? Yeah, it expired in February. And so I guess I just felt like, because I know I'm not gonna use this as a primer, I should just get rid of it because it's not gonna do anything as a sunscreen. So I don't know, I may have to revisit this when I need a sunscreen, or maybe I can try it as a primer. See, this, <laughs> that's not how this video is supposed to go right that's not what we're supposed to be doing anyway i don't know i'm also worried if it'll make me break out because it's expired or is that just the sunscreen y'all comment and let me know how that works because i don't want to break out but this is almost full and i think i just barely opened it so i don't know she might be in a maybe pile now this one though definitely going this is the super group super goop glow screen sunscreen she expired in 2022, so definitely ain't doing nothing to help. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't remember what it is. I don't like about this one. This isn't in any kind of color or anything like that. It says it also doubles as a highlighter. Like, this is what it looks like. First of all, yeah. I have other highlighting products. That's pretty. It doesn't smell. I don't know. If I got it for sunscreen and it's not working for sunscreen, then there's no point in having it. Because I have other glowy products that I like. So she's going to go because she's expired. Period, period, period. A keep. Definitely a keeper. Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Bronzer Stick. Still in the box because I haven't showed y'all this yet on camera, but I definitely want to. I don't think I did. I am also wearing this today. This is in the shade On The Horizon. This is one of the newer shades. Y'all, when I tell y'all this got my cheeks together, I love the shade of this. Like, absolutely perfect. Can be a bronzer, can be a contour. I just drew a line and then I took my contour brush and I blended it out upwards so that it didn't <laughs> drag down. 
and then just went over it with a fluffier brush to kind of pat it in absolutely gorgeous finish love this so much and i'm glad i took a chance and picked it up because i was not checking for this before the sale and then ended up just grabbing it while i was in the store another trash for sure this has been i've been wanting to tell y'all about this elf big mood i heard so many people talking about how good this mascara is supposed to be i don't see it i don't see it i don't love it it has a big old brush which i don't love big brushes like this i am not doing my bottom lash line with this and I don't know if I just don't have enough lashes to do at the top with it, but I just, I don't like it. So she can go. A love. Oh my God. This is the Cosmic Brushes Muse palette. I don't remember. I think I filmed a look with this. I am not sure, but I put it straight in my loves bin to tell you all about it. This palette is so inexpensive and it is so gorgeous and i remember when i did the look that i did i used this shade i used this shade what else did i use i used this shade this shade this shade <laughs> use this one i don't think i did but i tried to use quite a few shades and i just think this is so pretty the look that i came up with you would have never thought that i came up with from using this palette i hope i filmed it i'm pretty sure i did but Love the formula of this. Love the price of this. I also have the Serenity palette, which I have not used yet. But if it's anything like this, I already know I'm going to love it. This, if you can get it, get it. You will not be disappointed at all. Another trash. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. Honestly, this is not bad. It works well for like a spot concealer if I want to put powder or something over it. But by itself, mm-mm. This thing creases, it's dry, and honestly, this is kind of old. I don't like how it smells either. You can't get this anymore, so I just felt like I'm really not reaching for this. I can't show it on camera, and I don't feel like it's doing that great, so I'm just going to get rid of it and be done. So she's going to go. This love right here, though, I've had this in my collection probably for over a year for sure. And when I bought it, it was too dark. And so I just never wore it. And then I finally got to wear it. NARS Soft Matte Complete in shade Medium Deep 5 Marquises, however you pronounce this. Y'all, the formula of this is so good. So good. Like, lasted all day. Didn't crease. Didn't budge. Like, I felt so flawless wearing this foundation. And I used to wonder, like, what all the hype was. Because people talked about this for a while. And then I haven't heard anything lately. But I just got to try it and I absolutely see what all the hype was about. If you can find this, this is going to be perfect for the summer because it is going to stay. It is going to be matte, but it's going to help you look airbrushed and flawless. So if you get it, go get it. Get a coupon. Find a Sephora, uh, Ulta coupon. I think this should be at Ulta. Definitely pick it up. It Worth it. You will not be mad. I guess I cleaned out my bronzers. <laughs> When I did clean out my bronzers, I said this was one I needed to try because I wasn't sure if I'm going to keep it, and now I know I'm not. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing Sun-Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder in Soft Revenge. It's too light. It's too buildable. Like, I don't like light coverage products. I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't want to have to keep digging my brush in it, and it's just too much work for me. So I have other bronzers that I like, so this one can go. I have a love, and I'm kind of bummed that I love this because it's expensive. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer. This is in the shade 5W0 Tan, which I guess is Warm Olive. I have not uploaded the video yet, but I filmed a video of my most expensive products in my collection for like full face of expensive products, and I use this love i love the formula of it the shade's a little light but i know how to tone it down this is so good and i'm mad because the coverage is there but it doesn't dry and leave you cakey your under eyes don't look crazy if you have lines like i do this is expensive i know it is but if you can find it at your cosmetics company store please pick it up you will not be disappointed it is worth every single penny a trash i picked this up at marshall's it's not even, okay, let me tell you what it is first. <laughs> Milk Makeup came out with an electric glossy lip plumper. Y'all, I don't like that stuff that burns your lips. When I tell you this stings, like after a while I was so annoyed I just wiped it off and it still stung for a little while. 
I love that it has all these different colors because this shade is so pretty. But I don't even want to put this on my hand. This is the shade right here. I hope you can see. It's like this gorgeous berry. When I tell you burns the crap out of your lips, no, I don't like it. If you like that, that little stinging, I don't know how the Too Faced ones feel because a lot of people like those too. If you like that, you might like this. But for me, it's a no. Back to a concealer that I absolutely love. Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. I have mine in the shade Crumble 71N. This is the most gorgeous, like, the finish of this. I almost want to get one that's a little bit darker. This is, well, actually, that's okay, because I can lighten it, but I feel like I could get away with putting a few dots of this on with no makeup and still be able to wear it. That's how I tell what is like my everyday concealer versus the ones I only wear when I'm wearing makeup. I think I could get away with this by itself. I'm not sure, but I, I love it. I love it like enough to want to get a darker shade just in case. Sets, doesn't move, doesn't crease, doesn't look dry. I am 41. I'm worried about under eye lines and wrinkles and dryness, and I don't have any problems when I wear this and the coverage is absolutely incredible. A trash. I've had this in my collection for a while. I've kept trying to make it work. We're not doing that anymore. This is the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. They don't even make this anymore. And I don't know what it is, but the smell of this. Yeah, no, I don't like the smell of this. It's also separating. I've had it for a while, so it's probably just old. But even if I wanted to replace it, I can't. So I don't know how this wears. I don't know. The shade's a little too light. I like how it feels. It almost, it's not moussey, but it kind of feels like it is. I feel like it could have been a really good foundation. But the fact that they got rid of it, even if I fell in love with it, too bad. Because they're not making it no more. So I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, back to our stash. I talked about the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and then I told y'all I found a dupe. Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara. This is good. If you don't want to go through the hassle of having to order from the Thrive Cosmetics website for one mascara and having to pay for shipping and all that jazz, go to the drugstore, get this. I will say that I feel like, and maybe my Thrive ones are a little older, but I feel like this is a very wet formula. So you have to be careful when you're applying it because it will transfer easy. But it definitely lengthens, definitely makes my lashes darker. I posted a picture on my community tab where I showed you guys the Thrive on one side and this on the other. And I almost, it, it looks identical. Like I couldn't even tell. So I will grab either one of these. The tubing is even almost the same color. So I just reach for something this color and whichever one it is, like it does not matter. I feel like they're interchangeable, but you're saving about, I think at minimum $10 if you get this one. So if you like tubing mascaras, definitely give this one a try. I absolutely love it. Another love, we're gonna talk about a blush. This is the Say Beauty Dew Blush in the shade Spicy. I picked this up during the last Sephora sale and y'all, it's the shade, it is the shade, it is the shade. That thing, I wiped this off, it's still there. Um, I just, I love the shade of this. Like I feel like this could be a lip color for me. This could also be what it is, a blush. But I just think it is so pretty. It's like a red, but it's kind of that terracotta burnt brick red kind of shade almost like a brown if i didn't have so much blush on i swear to god i'll put this on right now oh i love this shade i almost picked up another one of these during the sale but i'm trying to keep it together and not overbuy. you have one that you love use that one that's enough so if you haven't tried those i definitely think it's worth it if you love a glowy cheek which i've been into lately you're gonna love that product since we're talking about cheeks, let's go to a trash. This is not the formula. This is strictly the color. This is Melt Cosmetics. They're cream blush light in sandy cheeks. I thought this was going to work for me for like a peachy kind of situation. But every time I wear this, I just feel disappointed. It's too light and we know what shades I like for blush. 
and this is just not it. I don't love this on my face. There's no reason for it. So I was holding on to it because I bought it, didn't want to get rid of it. But at the end of the day, if you're not wearing it, what's the difference? So I'm getting rid of that one. I have polished. Absolutely love that one. And I have another one. I can't think of the name of it, but it's a berry kind of shade with gold specks in it. Love the formula. It's not the formula at all. It's just that shade in particular. I couldn't do it. Another keep. This was new. I got this in a trend mood box. This is the Birdie Lashes Top and Bottom Mascara. That's not the name of it, but since it's not in the box, that is what I have. So I actually like the top mascara, but the bottom mascara is what really got me because it has this tiny little brush right here. So it grabs every single one of your lashes and coats them. The top mascara is good. It's not bad, but I think, oh yeah, and it is curved. I forgot about that. It has this curved wand. And I just feel like the bottom mascara makes it even more worth it. I think this would be perfect to travel with because you have both the top and bottom in one tube. You don't have to worry about bringing two products. But this is a really good mascara. I still prefer tubing. Also, I wear contacts and it's just easier to get it off. But this mascara, really, really good. And I love that it's a two for one. Getting down to the wire. Another lip gloss that I have actually been loving and wearing almost every day. This is the Urban Decay. What is this called? It is a plumping. Okay, I thought it was Plumping Shine Balm in the shame name, shade name drop. This is what it looks like. It is a nude and it has some gold sparkles in it gold silver it's not super sparkling i have so much stuff on my lips right now but this is not the one i have on my lips but i love wearing this on top of a brown liner by itself i feel like it just gives me a beautiful glossy lip not too much pigment but enough that it helps to blend everything out even my lip color and just make my lips look juicy and plump so pleasantly surprised i think i found this where did i find this I don't want to lie to y'all. I think at the cosmetics company store. So I don't know if Urban Decay still has this on their website or if you can find it at Ulta. But if you can find it, pick it up. You're going to love this too. A trash. I used to love this. I remember a long time ago and it's been sitting in my collection. Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. This flakes on me, gets all over my face, and I've just been holding on to it because I was like, well, maybe if you do something different, no, we're not doing anything. Ooh, this is probably bad anyway. This smells super, super strong. I've had this for a long time. I did not buy this recently. So again, cleaning stuff out, found this and was like, you know, you're not going to wear it. So get rid of it. <sighs> this is a love. This is also empty. And I've already bought a backup. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. Now, I just filmed earlier today the backup that I bought. And I also bought it in the hydrating formula. This is the matte. They are not the same. The hydrating formula is lighter and a different tone completely than this one. Wasn't expecting that. So I'm kind of disappointed. But I wear this as my um, concealer under my eyes if I'm not wearing makeup and just lightly set it with a slightly lighter powder to brighten. But this is my perfect, like no makeup, makeup, just hide your under eyes. This is perfect for that. I make sure to moisturize well because this is matte, but this does not budge, it does not go anywhere. I can spot conceal and I love it. So already bought a backup, but just know the hydrating Says it's the same shade name, but it is not the same shade color. Another love. Oh, I fell in love with this the first time I wore it, and I've been loving it ever since. This is the Tarte Double Duty Deep Bronze Sculpt Tape. I have not tried the Charlotte Tilbury any of them. None of them, and I'm okay with that because there are other brands that are coming out with them that are not as expensive. Now, I won't lie. I'm intrigued only because I want to compare but at the end of the day, I'm trying not to. Listen, I don't make money on YouTube. <laughs> I do not. Nothing is sent to me. This is all my money for free. So while I want to be able to keep up with the Joneses, my pocketbook is telling me to chill out. So I tried this out and I just love the ease of the application. I love the shade of it. I put a couple dots and then just blend it out and it's perfect. So 
I love this one. I love this formula. I haven't tried others to tell you if they're better or not, but Tarte is always having a sale and I picked this up during one of their sales and I'm so glad that I did. I have a new pair of lashes that I tried out and I got these when I got the um, Birdie Lashes Mascara. This is the Birdie Lashes Gemini, what are these? Premium Faux Mink Lashes. So I wore these and I was very surprised. I thought they were a half lash, but I have to keep reminding myself that my eyes are not that big. These lashes are killing me because I trimmed them, but I didn't trim them enough. And so it's sticking me in the corner of my eyes as we speak. And, <laughs> and I've just been dealing with it, but they also extend too far out. So I need to trim it again, but these right here are like the perfect width for me. I love how wispy they are, but they're still long enough to be dramatic. And I really don't want to get hooked on these, but it says you can wear them up to 25 times. So I try to take care of them and put them back in the box and not use makeup remover and stuff on them. These are really good. Let me know if you've tried this brand of lashes before, because if you haven't, I think you should. You would, I think it's worth it. Let's go back to a trash. This is only because it's old. MAC Cosmetics Dark Golden Mineralized Skin Finish. Baby is so old, she has mold on it. <laughs> Look at that. That is so gross. Eh, I should be ashamed. I've had this for a while and yeah, it's time for her to go. I have other ones of these that don't have mold and they are being used. But this one, this not the shade, not the formula, not the brand. Just this little item right here has to go because it has mold. We have one more trash and I'm going to just go ahead and tell you because the rest are going to be loves and we can finish on a high note. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I feel like at one point, this is a sample one that I have. I feel like at one point I thought I liked this and then I didn't and I don't remember why. I just remember like I tried it a couple of times. Maybe it was too hard to get off. I also don't love the super big wands. And this one has a big wand on it, so that could probably be it too. I don't think it's the formula. I just don't love a big wand. I don't know. And I have other mascaras I love, so this one's going to go. We got four more loves, and that will be it. Or is this a love or no? Let's see. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner. This is in nude medium. I'm trying to remember because I put everything together, and now I don't know. Oh, it came out like that. Oh, okay. So, do I like this? No. It's not that I don't like the formula. It's the shade. This is not a good shade for me. I thought I could make it work. But every time I try it, I end up annoyed and putting something else on top of it. So, this is not a love. This is a trash. She's going to go. Okay, three more loves. Number one, Milani Stay Put Liquid Brow Wax. I have this on right now. I love doing my brows how I normally do with my big pencil, either my, oh, what's the name of it? Benefit is right here, the Goof Proof. There's also another one that I've been loving. I wanna say it's Too Faced. The Pomade Pencil, I had it up here too, but I can't find it. Those two have been my go-to. I do my brows and then I come back with this and I stick them, brush them up a little bit and then I just use the tube and I roll it to press them flat. And I feel like this helps to keep my brows up and still give them the hairy look, but they're still sculpted, if that makes any sense. So I've been loving this. I use this pretty much every day. It's taking the place of my brow gels. And I don't know if that's permanent or just because it's what I have upstairs. But right now, I'm loving this. I brought this back out and I was like, why did you stop using it? This is the Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio. I have mine in the shade Dark Rich. I talked about this in a favorites a long time ago and then I brought it back out and I'm like, God, I remember why I love this. I can wear every single one of these shades. And at first I thought I was going to hate this shade because I was like, what am I supposed to do with that? But this brightens. Let me see. I need a small powder brush up here, which I don't have. Okay, so I'm not gonna put this on right now. Yeah, I am. There's nothing on this brush. This is just an eyeshadow brush, but like just that little bit, I can tell that this is helping to mattify 
and to blur. I hope you guys can see what this is doing right now. Like look at that side compared to this side. You can see mattified me, smoothed everything out. Oh yes. I thought this shade was going to be totally pointless for me and I was like, I don't even know why I have it and it's one of my favorite shades in the palette. So if you can get this, I have only gotten this from like a boxy charm. I do know of course they have it on their website, but this is just such a pretty trio and they have different shades. So you should be able to find something that works for you. Definitely one of my all time favorites and loves. And last but not least, I feel like I saved the best for last. I am wearing this today. This is the Danessa Myricks Golden Hour Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. Y'all, this is her blushes. <laughs> I freaking love this. This is going to punch you in the face. This is why I have on a bright lip today because I wanted to try to match it. This is so good. Like at first I was like, is my brush even going to be able to pick this up? But yeah, it is so creamy and then it dries down to a matte and it is just one of the most beautiful shades I have seen for a blush that I did not think I was going to love. I went back and forth about which shades I wanted to get because I almost picked up Prima Donna because it's that pink. And then I decided to get the House Labs Watermelon Bliss shade instead. I'm not mad. This is going to be, y'all going to get tired of me with these kind of orangish red sunburnt looking cheeks but look at my face today like you need to try this you absolutely need to try it all right guys that is it for this video today like i said i haven't done a stash or trash in a while and you see i had a lot of products accumulated that i needed to tell you about i'm glad i did so now i can put stuff back where it goes comment let me know if any of these are your favorites did any of them not work out from you for you I would love to hear from you. I am stuttering because I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. I've been filming for a minute, so I'm going to shut things down, but let me know what you guys think about the products that I shared. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so I hope you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and want to see more, please give it a thumbs up or let me know below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.